Hello, and welcome to another networking tutorial. Today, we're taking a deeper dive into VRRP. In this episode, I'll guide you through the configuration of VRRP with VLANs on MicroTik routers. This setup will provide both high availability and efficient network segmentation. Additionally, we'll configure load sharing to distribute traffic between two MicroTik routers. Let's jump right in. In the last episode, we already saw how to configure VRRP without VLAN. We will use the same network topology. To make the video shorter and focus on the VRRP, we will only go through a recap of the current configuration. Set router identity. Assign a unique identity to the router for easier identification. Configure a new bridge interface and assign it a meaningful name. Add the physical interfaces that will be part of the bridge. Set up VLANs and associate them with the bridge interface. Assign IP addresses to each VLAN interface and configure the DHCP server, ensuring that the default gateway is the virtual shared IP for redundancy. Associate each physical interface with the appropriate VLAN and configure the port VLAN ID on each interface needed. Activate VLAN filtering to ensure proper handling and segregation of VLAN traffic. Those steps must be repeated for the second router too. Now that we have our network working, let's move to the VRRP configuration on router 1. Configure first VRRP for VLAN 10. Give a name to identify it clearly. Choose VLAN 10 as interface. Set VRID to 10, it should be the same from VLAN 10 in router 2. Set priority 250, since we want router 1 to be the master. Repeat the same process for the other VRRP interfaces. Next, let's configure the IP address for each VRRP interface. This will serve as the virtual IP address for each VLAN, which will be used as their gateway. Additionally, this is the same IP address we set as the default gateway in the DHCP server configurations.
Now that we have all our VRRP interfaces running, let's move to router 2. As we did for router 1, we will configure the VRRP interfaces for router 2, but this time with priority 100 because we want to use router 2 as backup. We repeat the same process for each VRRP interfaces. Next, let's configure the IP address for each VRRP interface. Note that those addresses should be different from the addresses of VRRP interfaces from Router 1. Notice that all VRRP interfaces on this router have switched to the backup state. This occurred because the routers exchanged VRRP advertisements, resulting in router 2 becoming the backup. Let's test the configuration to verify if VRRP is working. We'll start by disconnecting the link from router 1. Now, all VRRP interfaces on Router 2 have switched from Backup to Master, indicating that Router 2 is now handling the traffic as expected. When we reconnect Router 1 to the network, Router 2 will automatically switch back to Backup mode. This behavior is expected since the preemptive option is enabled. In this configuration, R2 remains completely idle while in the backup state, which can lead to inefficient use of resources. To optimize this, R2 can be configured as the gateway for some clients. The key advantage of this approach is the implementation of a load sharing scheme, ensuring better utilization of both routers. To implement load sharing, you can adjust the VRRP priorities so that different routers are the masters for different VLANs. Let's set the priority for VRRP20 in Router 1 to 100 and in Route 2 to 250. In this setup, Router 1 has VRRP10 and VRRP30 in master mode, while VRRP20 is in backup mode. On Router 2, it's the opposite configuration. This allows both routers to operate simultaneously, optimizing resource utilization. Additionally, if one router fails, 
the other will seamlessly take over all traffic, ensuring continuous availability. With these steps, you've successfully configured VRRP for redundancy and VLANs for network segmentation, along with load sharing between two MicroTik routers. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you in the next video.